overshadowed that from the fucked up up there. I think I think I have that shot. They love it. They love it. They love it. That's a total of five. One here, two at the Capitol. And then five, yeah. There you go, that's how I see it. Oh, you're going to get right to left, all the cops. Hey! Hey! Yeah. I forgot. Uh, the only ones that hate us the ones that fear us under the first. Jumped the White House yeah. fence, but I forgot what the other one charged. Uh, something about unlawful, unlawful entry, yeah. which is good because I thought she was fucked. Yeah. She was in a get mode suit. She was on a hunger strike, and he lobbed her right up over the fucking yeah, fence. Not <laughs> yeah. Well, they came out with assault rifles, pointed it at her, and the dog acting like they were going to sick the dog on it. All right, I'm going back down here. So two got arrested, uh, one for throwing a banana peel over the White House fence, and the other one for not list obeying an officer, something like that. Hey. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Hey. Yeah, come back to the White House. They 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 uh, cordoned off the entire area like they normally do. All the cops are still fucking here. There's two people in cop cars arrested. All right, all right. Uh, because they threw a banana peel over the fence. They they tackled them with force. Yes. So, yeah, get him over here. All right. All right. Wait. I don't recall having it. And, um... I'm telling someone on the march that what happened here, and I'm telling them, do a mic check, tell them have them come back here. Because we are way fucking outnumbered right now. Yeah, we are. That's not a good sign. Yeah. Uh, anonymous mask. Guy Fox. November 5th. He tried to... Blow up Parliament, I think it was like 1605 or something like that, it was a failed plot, but it turned into a movie called Be For Vendetta, which really was nothing about Guy Fox. And then there's a group of hacktivist hackers, that w their symbol, main symbol is the Guy Fox thing. So you had to have heard Anonymous before. They like hack go hack on their websites and take them down. What's their message this Uh, I guess their message today was pretty much everything. Um, livable wages, uh, government corruption, just like this list of them. I just filmed the group. You just filmed the group? Mostly, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's going on here today? Uh, it was because there was more protesters here. Uh, not that much more, but they brought in supply. I guess I went to go get a drink and someone sent a message saying someone threw a banana peel over the White House fence and they tackled him and slammed his face into the ground and arrested him. I guess for later. <laughs> I don't know what you would charge someone for that. <laughs> you too. Uh, it's not daylight. Uh, sometimes my phone is really good at making it look like daylight. Uh, the sun is actually just now set, and there's a lot of lights lit up right now. So if I turn this way, you can see how dark it is. Huh? Uh, that's what I was doing. Yeah. Everybody moved, and then started. Figure seems like, oh, nothing's going to happen. We walk away. He's with the march. He's going to do a mic check and have them all come back here. Okay. I'm glad you sent it to me because I went to go get a drink. And then when you said that, I'm like, what? And then I just called Austin and uh, they, they took her over to get his stuff. She's back. Yeah. So Arlington's going to do a mic check and tell him what happened here. Because we're too fucking outnumbered right now.
I know. Well, a lot of people don't know because I'm from here. But I know it's a serious thing. What? So anything over the place. There's so much privilege to all this time that they were allowed to sit there. Yeah. You cheated me? I can't even They didn't engage? We were blocking intersections for a long time. We didn't say anything. That's weird. I was like, we know better that they would have already engaged. There is some feedback. Okay. Yeah, someone was selling it. Yo. Okay. okay so. Yes. All right. It's good shit. Okay, good. Back to the White House. Yeah, yeah. If you want to answer them, we'll put you to Gail. Come on. Well, come on, let's get back to the White House first. I'll walk with you. People that are marching just found out they're heading back here. So yeah, don't read that. We're two outnumbered. We're two outnumbered. Ooh! That's why I do this. <laughs> That's why I do this to get people off their fucking charges because on May Day, safety or less, it depends. The one guy they said they're going to hold on. Generally, uh, if it's not a lot of arrests, anywhere from one to three hours. Yeah. No, the march is heading back here. I'm not sure where they went, but they're heading back here because they heard what happened here. No, they arrested two people, one for throwing a banana peel over the But the march is heading back here right now. Thank you. You got no problem. Yeah, it always does. Always. I'm going to stop Oh yeah, I just went to go get a drink and then I, someone sent me a tweet saying, Riot, two people arrested. I'm like, what do you mean, Riot? Stop. <laughs> uh, I'm about to have yeah, a seizure with so many a flashing riot lights riot around here. Yes. Yeah. That's Hello, crazy. It's Robbie 2016! <laughs> Let's break charge one back, come on! Yeah, the Ustream won't let me change my Euro. Well, he probably didn't know. I know, but most people from out of town don't know that. The people from around here know it's a serious fucking thing. Uh, two years ago, someone, someone threw a fucking smoke bomb. Yeah, that was at the... But we had a thousand of people. Yeah, Occupy Congress. But we had thousands of people, so they had no idea who did it, and they were fucking... All these lights lit up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw it. There was a motherfucker in the tree. Someone climbed a tree. Yeah. So, and but the march is heading back, and I sent them a message saying what happened. Fish. Yeah, especially because they're gonna come down the street. Yeah, <laughs> it's because they don't know it's cordoned off. Yeah, cops are still arguing. That's the most I've seen them talk in a long time. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be out of the side. Especially in some of the community. Yeah, they have completely blocked state. traffic. I don't think they're concerned House about people are pissed. Yeah, so. Misdemeanor, yeah. Unless it's like a neighboring Unless he jumped the fence. <laughs> that would not be good. But right on, guys. March is coming back. Oh, oh shit. They want to have a seizure? Oh, still some that's a wall here. of cops and flashy lights. Apparently, lights. after the march left, someone threw a banana peel. Seriously, over that's the, like uh, the worst acid trip you could ever over think the of. House fence, the police rushed in, tackled them, roughed them up. Uh, bit, yeah, them. when they're filled with cops some and flashy lights was, to give you a seizure. I don't know, came in to help out or flashy something. Flashy lights and cops are. Uh, he anywhere. got arrested. Uh, both of them are misdemeanors. So they'll be out really shortly with a fine, blah, blah, blah. 
Sometimes when you're from out of town, they try to make you pay the fine immediately. And sometimes they trust you to come back to court. Right. They give you, so they try to force you to We're walking the back up the street of, uh, against traffic. There are people actually walking through the now. lines of cars. Uh, you pay traffic the fine has been and then completely you can be done stopped. With it, all that crap for misdemeanors. Um, we are now uh, marching back from the, the Federal fine, Reserve you know, up to the White House, court. I believe. We're on Constitution, uh, just passing 18th. So the march is on the There's way like back a here. Wall so. of cops behind me. I'm, I'm towards the back end of the march. That's probably why you're not hearing a lot. Um, at this point, I just see no point in spreading back up there. Chargers. Um, we're going on. Well, yeah, Shit, moving in towards nine hours uh, now of marching and streaming. That's ridiculous. But they're all worried because it was their friends. I'm like, nah, they'll be out for one to three hours with a fire. I haven't slept in. Now you can tell the doctor you've been exercising. <laughs> you can tell the doctor you've been exercising. So I'm not sure where the march is right now, but uh, a friend of mine just did a mic check to say what was happening here, and they're headed back here. I. So they cordoned off the street. I'm just a on a long board. I intentionally walked out on the street earlier. I saw. And, and because I just got here, so technically I don't know what's going on. Oh, I see. And a couple of them just ignored me and they wouldn't find the humans that get on the sidewalk. <laughs> You're harassing me. Naughty, naughty. Make that one the black cop recognizes him because people are arguing with him and he goes well you have to give the one guy's like you have to give your badge and he's like we have to give you id and i said no you don't have to give cops your id and he goes yes we do and the cop said the cop says actually no you don't listen to him he knows what he's talking about <laughs> This is nationwide. You don't have to show your ID unless they have reasonable suspicion. Reasonable suspicion. Yeah. So our geese are flying now. Winner's here. Look, it's James Bondage, the troll again, asking the same questions over and over and over again. Dude, don't you have anything else to do? At least your questions change. Yeah, he always comes on. He's not a bad troll. He always asks why Occupy failed and stuff like that. Now he's asking, uh... Technically, we are in martial law, uh, March... March, in around March 11th of 2012, Obama signed a uh, executive order declaring peacetime martial law, whatever the frick that is. So technically we are under some kind of weird, it's called All right, so I think we're just uh, a block peacetime martial the White law, House. which I've never heard of. It's just, uh, you know, executive order to exercise more powers. Just like he signed an ex executive order to ha take over control of all uh, communications, televisions, broadcasting, radios. Um, <laughs> nice. Uh, thank you, Ellie. Random people says, completely Ellie, stuck in our traffic and they're blowing horns because my phone is shattered. <laughs> Kill Illuminati. It's getting, it's getting uh, yeah, really this dark. This whole town is, uh, um, has a lot of Illuminati and I'm, symbolism I'm looking at my phone screen. Everywhere. It just looks like a giant black When I first wall. came here, I'm like, man, this city's um, creepy. Now I just I'm going to stay online until it. at least we get to the White House. There's just within a short period. And uh, there's I'll figure out two, what we're going to do from there. Two surveillance cameras there. 
two there, two over there, two over there. Uh, they're all over the place in DC. This is this is which street lights. This is uh, 1984 times 10 uh, in DC. Oh, I'm not sure the number of the police. Normally, people in here uh, look up the number for me. Why is this world so crazy? Well, that's the thing, because without live stream, you guys wouldn't be seeing how crazy this is. I've been seeing this for uh, a few years now. Uh, you guys really don't realize how much you've lost your freedom. Nice! Until you come out. <laughs> Until you come out and exercise hey, look, I know rights. if I was trying to get home after a long day of work, uh, all of a sudden I was stuck in a car. I strongly line. believe in the I'd probably be in a pissed off mood. I am not Tea Party. People got nothing but love for us. Um, but I strongly believe in constitutional rights. Even, uh, even, even the right to bear arms, but the problem these days is there's a lot of psychos uh, bearing arms. So I won't get into that anymore. Look, them guys are allowed to walk. <laughs> These guys walk around on the sidewalk. Uh, today, um, well, um, for the most part, I guess, I, just from all the protests I've been to, it wasn't that bad. Uh, a lot of the locals took over because a lot of people here were never even in a freaking protest before. Uh, they were afraid to take the streets when I, I told them over and over again. I have never in the two years I've been in D.C. seen anyone arrested for marching on the street without a permit. Ever. Um, so, you, you know, it, it's like this a lot. It's not just D.C. Try protesting in New York City. Uh, you wear a mask in New York City, you will be Sorry, man. Sorry. You will be beaten and arrested. Uh, they consider that a serious thing in New York City. Uh, I've seen it a lot. Yeah, it's not a, it's not a flawed document. You're right. Uh, it said the Constitution is not a flawed document like Obama claims. Okay, see the lights that just came on? They're the lights that came on uh, two years ago and put someone threw a smoke bomb on. They have they have sensors in the yard. Uh, as soon as that smoke bomb hit the frickin' uh, lawn, all these lights lit up. Uh, the, the ones you just saw now light up. This is not normal. They're doing that to sort of, yeah, what, like, like someone here has a, a weapon or something. So uh, a lot of the times the police try to use intimidation tactics. You got to realize that uh, if you're I'm new trying to get home for an hour. There's a bunch of white people in the street. Right here, or, 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 here at the White House, we see snipers. Or earlier, there was a, uh, a guy dressed in all black with an assault rifle hiding behind a tree in the White House lawn. Uh, it's all intimidation tactics. Uh, but seeing snipers at the White House is not unusual. No. Yeah, they're there. There's a little box on top of the White House. They're in there all the time. Sometimes they come out with binoculars. They were out just a little while ago looking at everybody. Yeah, you can't necessarily be... If you're doing something that you think is right and it's within constitutional boundaries, you should not be afraid to be arrested. For doing what's right and exercising your rights. Oh, okay. Union Station. Right? Yes, go back. Okay. All right. Yeah. So, red lines are very good. No. Yeah. 
Send him the Farragut Square to, 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 hit, to hit the red line. Okay, see that street right there? No, no, it's, it's short. You take a right, walk one block, take a left, and you'll see something called Metro. Uh, uh, McPherson, uh, it is the Metro. That, that red line takes you the whole way to um, Union Station. Yeah. You'll know because you'll be walking by, it's called the uh, Department of Veterans Affairs. Right up there, you just go to that corner, straight there. And you, you go right out of there. Go one block, take a left, you'll know you're in the right spot because you'll see Department of Veteran Affairs. Okay, cool, thank you. Uh, at the end of that block, there's a metro station, it's called McPherson Metro. Thank you. And it takes you to Holy Land. Thank you. 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 Thank Yeah, even if you have your GPS location off, they still uh, have the capability of tracking your phone. Uh, Is Austin live streaming? Uh, no, he's not live streaming, but he said he's bringing the march back here because of what happened. Um, they can track your phone even when they uh, pull your, uh, even if you pull your battery out, there's a backup battery in there. Oh, I hear, I can hear the march far away. <laughs> the march is coming back. March is coming back! Man, they're still, they're still screaming in here. They've been doing it since 9 in the morning. I wish I was young again. I'm, I'm trying to film them and wow. Like, these guys got energy. I am down to under 20% on battery. Ellie Reynolds. Can you hear? I don't know if you can hear him, but the uh, march is coming. They're coming down from that direction. Uh, all these lights that are lit up here uh, is abnormal. So there's less and less cops. Does that mean we can go back on the street? Yeah. I know the turn here. <laughs> I'm sitting down to the very last minute, but the march is right down there. I can hear him screaming and yelling. Uh, I am old. saying who street, our street. We can always tell that because you hear it so many times. We need to think of some new chants because it's really not our street. I mean, technically, it's the Indians. So. <laughs> but you get the point. And some of them, like I'm sick, of, I'm sick of hearing. The, the solidarity song. Oh, they're opening it up as the march comes. Oh, they want shit to happen. They want it to happen. No doubt about it. They want something to do. Oh yeah, there's still a good number of them. Holy shit! I don't know. I think it's surprised. Fuck, I'm using uh, my cord broke again. Yeah. New one. So how much do you think so I'm using the short. taxpayers' money is going out to watch a bunch of people like that? Oh yeah. I can lie. A lot. No. Can you hear him? A lot of money. How did he sound? How did he fall? Oh, no, thank you. So you see, instead of, uh, uh, Still, instead of investing the money, what the hell? Uh, that they're using I thought to follow us, right instead of investing that money into the homeless, they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they're using the money to be more beneficial for people, and they
interested in your family what was going on. And this officer assaulted me. He did not even say anything to me regarding my family and everything that's wrong. Calling parents stuff over the fence. I know, but he had no reason. I wasn't. I was doing. I was simply what we were trying to do. I'm the best. So he did. If we can get people in the street, he couldn't say that. He could have said back up, please. But he grabbed this and do it. I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it right now. I'm saying it right now. So you're not going to do anything about him assaulting me. I'm the. Yeah, I'm sitting here filming. His hands on this man. For no reason. And I need you guys to but back up. But you're not going to do anything, right? I'm going to talk to you. Because you are a traitor to this country. I'm not going to say anything. Yes, he is. He no, he's not. You know he will. The man guys are all in this together. That's bullshit. She's out. Just like you said to me, if I asked you nicely to move off the sidewalk, you said you would. Oh, I'm away from the scene. He will. I'm not obstructing anything. We have to sing the scene. There are other covers in here. They're instigating shit. Where's the talk in That's against the, the law. They're not allowed to do that. I'm the press, and they assaulted me for no fucking reason. How do you feel about this? How do you guys feel? No, he grabbed this. I was filming. Yes. And you've got undercovers in the crowd instigating things. Why? That's against the law. You guys are fucking constitutional traitors. You realize that? You are traitors to fucking America. You call yourself Americans? You don't even defend the Constitution. Did you guys take an oath to defend the Constitution? Or do you just normally assault press for no fucking reason? Traitor. Traitor. You're all fucking traitors. All right, You're supposed to withhold the Constitution. And what are you doing? Not a goddamn thing. You're fucking traitors. You're all fucking traitors. Traitors. We're fighting pension. We're not fighting a pension. They're negotiating it right now. You want to talk to the supervisor? That's who you want to talk to. We do. We do. We do. Where is he? Him. This guy assaulted me. He couldn't. No, I'm not going behind the police line. Uh, are you the supervisor? Who's the supervisor? No, we're going to do this in public. Who is You're a public officer. This guy assaulted me. I'm filming. I'm not obstructing Are you the supervisor? Listen, listen. I can't hear 500 people screaming. All right. I've got to talk to this guy. All right, supervisor. You're the supervisor, right? Yeah. Okay, let me let me meet you, okay? First officer, there are undercover officers in the crowd that are instigating. No, I... We have it on film. We saw the entire police line, we saw the back of the police line, and they have been all down going through the crowd starting fights. And then your guy assaults me. I'm pressed. Doesn't say I'm not interfering with whatever was going on over here. I'm filming. Okay. He grabs this and throws it back, and it goes to the floor. Uh, which of the crowd? This guy right, right here. Right here. Okay. Yes. You guys let everyone get away with this shit all the time. I'm here all the time as press, and you're always trying to tell me I can't film assault with him assaulting me. That's ridiculous. And not only is he assaulting, but you've got like your I don't know anything about the No, you will because we've got it on film. Right? That's against the law. Officer. Officer! That's you on your dog. I'm getting I will give his name and badge number. Right now. I will give his name and badge number. Right now. Right, thank Officer, you. can thank I have you. your badge right. number, please? Thank you. He's going to get it. He's going to get it right now. 0993. Now, does anybody here know Secret anything about the undercover officers that are instigating fights? Can you please uh, mark that down and throw it to me on can Twitter? You, can you thank you. Can you call them off, too, please? If something goes down. I mean, this is the police state. This is ridiculous. On Twitter, I'm gonna go answer some right questions now. and shit. I'm sorry, like 300 messages in now. We're going back. Right. If there is an event or gathering later, like at the Washington Monument or something, chances are I will go back. But obviously, you have signed up if you're following this page. I think there's a little widget in the top right hand corner. You follow the page. If I come back online, you will get an email alert. I really appreciate it. I know you just came here recently, but this has been going on all day. So, uh, this okay. is ridiculous. This is a police state. Now, who's in charge of the undercover cops that are in here? I don't know if there's undercover cops in there. Yeah, lots of them. Well, officer, come on. Come with me, officer. officer. No, they're not here right now. No, if you won't cross that line, I don't. won't cross into there by myself. Okay? Right. Okay. But you're not allowed to cross into that line undercover. You know that, right? You know that. I mean, you got SWAT here. That's ridiculous. I don't know that there's undercover. That's ridiculous. You guys can handle this without SWAT. Jesus Christ. I don't know that there's undercover. Well, you don't. 
in this in this program. Tell them. You and them will be It's not my guys. If there are people in here, it's not my guys. Okay. So I have no problem. Can you make an announcement? No, I won't. Can you make an announcement and say all undercover cops who are in the crowd instigating fights for breaking the law and stop? You're an officer of the law. We've got it on film! Do you want to see it? Carlisle, show it! Show it to him! Come on! Show it to him! Have we swept this? We're here with you guys! Show it to him, Carlisle! It's way back in the archive. Just help the job! Don't pretend to be bad luck! We're here with you! What about the marshals? Can, what can they... Huh? What can the marshals do? About the undercovers? Do they have authority of that? We're going to clear everybody! You would think maybe. Gonna... I don't know who no, the other covers are, but who they're with. No, I mean talking to the marks, especially like about the assault. Tell me they don't like balls on their territory. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you guys really need SWAT. I mean, you guys can handle this yourself. You guys have done this day in, day out. I know some of you are veterans. They've been doing this for years. I and mean, then you bring SWAT. I know that, and, and, uh, and I know they do the arrest when there's mass arrests. I don't, I don't understand why you have a complete police state here. I mean, you, you got your guys in there, and that's secure. Okay, you bring the SWAT here for peaceful protesters? That's ridiculous. I know you guys can handle this. You, you guys know it's us too. That's why you had no response. Because you know that, we, that we aren't doing anything wrong. You don't need to be out here doing this to us. We do know because everybody knows exactly what all of us are doing, and none of us are violent. None of us have weapons. You eat the same food we do. You drink the same water we do. You breathe the same air we do. They're doing it just to you like they are us. Look it up. Do some research, guys. Come on. Okay. Five years from now, repentance. Be cut. And then you're going to be on this side. But right now, we're fighting for your pension. And you want to retire, and your social security is gone, and you have no retirement, no pension fund, then what? The people you work for all your life to secure your fucking well-being is now gone? This is the best you want. You understand why we were here fighting for you. You know, when the government was shut down, do you know what the president was doing? He was negotiating with the Tea Party oh, yeah. on government pension. Yeah, that's a gun bunch of bullshit. It's a small town. We know people who work everywhere, and that's exactly what he was doing. I'm going to stay hopeful. Hey, tell us a story. We're educated and able to carry a gun, and we're not. Step in five feet this way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. Step in five feet this way. Get out of the way. I mean, I probably would have resisted if you told me to move anyway, but yeah. you didn't tell me to move until you already assaulted me. See if I got him on film here. Because I have uh, I have this cheap little uh, monopod, and, uh, and then I uh, I use this aluminum. I bent some aluminum and uh, velcroed my phone to here, and there's a camcorder on top that I use when something happens. 
Hey, is there any moderators in here? Are you Someone threw a little sponge ball over the fence and I was filming. The cops moved in. Someone came in all started uh, pushing people really hard and he grabbed my fucking camera and threw it on the ground. My whole monopod setup. I got it. I got partial assault on the camera, but the camera uh, went down when he grabbed it. Ridiculous that SWAT here, it really is. Damn shame. Police state. We're running a bomb dog across the yard again. See the shadow right over here? <coughs> right there. Oh, yeah. So they're securing the area until they figure out what it is. It's just a sponge, one of them little sponge balls that you play in the tub or, or in the pool or something. <clears throat> you mean it absorbs the water and you throw it at someone or something. That's all it is. <coughs> And they never have these spotlights on unless something happens. They had them on before the March evening came back. Oh, 
Man, man, man. I'm up the top. Any of you guys back to Braddish? If you need to ride, we hear there's a county lock up on the way. Yeah, it's just the principle that he's supposed to be professional and he went and did that. I didn't even know he existed. He didn't even tell me to move yet. I was staying at Camp Distance and Camp I have partial, I have partial where he starts reaching at me and then the camera goes off. Have we verified that it's a ball or a game on my team? Did you see him, see him run the bomb ball and drop the ball? Yeah. The little sponge ball that you play in the hole. Somebody said, that's what we do in the bathroom. We need to know what that is, Clara. <laughs> that fucking little sponge ball. You saw it. Hey, have a Bomb, neither of them were bombed. <laughs> 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 yeah, because of that little sponge ball. That's why they pulled it to talk to you before? Oh, uh, before, no, someone threw a banana peel over there and they arrested two people. When you guys were marching, someone threw a banana peel over the fence and they fucking slammed to the ground and arrested two people while you guys were marching. That's, they have this whole area blocked off. I heard so there was about a rush, I didn't know that was blocked. Yeah, two people at, right after you guys marched, and they got arrested. Shit's fucked up! Shit's fucked up! Just now? Shit's fucked up! Yeah, there's a little sponge ball. Like you play in the pool. Shit's fucked up! Yeah, the fucking hot and salty. Shit's fucked up! Shit's fucked up! They all left the lawyers left. Yeah. The lawyers left.
Yeah, that was fucking unnecessary. But they do it anyway. Okay. No jacket now? Come on. I mean, if we, we worked at a food, a food restaurant and said, I get a lot of customers and fucking buy it. Um, yeah, it was Secret Service officer that assaulted me. I'm surprised it's normally, normally it's the park police that do all the assaulting, which I'm shocked. This guy was young and inexperienced. He looked really worried when he was fucking supervising me. He looked really worried about saying his name and bad I know, that's what I'm saying. I was asking him, and he looked at his supervisor, and the supervisor was like, tell him. What? What? Oh, what? Uh, okay, I guess that means the protest is <laughs> Unless I want to get drunk here. Are we going to protest the bar? Yeah. <laughs> Go protest paying. Free me! How dare you say the artist around the hall. I'm glad he didn't break this because it, it was open yeah. and he grabbed it here. I got I got I got a couple of seconds of video of him coming up and then it stops right here when it's hanging like that. <laughs> it might be on the live stream that it saved it. I don't know, it went down. The phone completely went off. The phone went fucking flying. <laughs> Walking my house. Oh yeah. Why are you not at work? Yeah. Yeah, man, I've been getting trolls all day, man. Uh, it's 1200 right now. I was at 2800 earlier, and then the second time I went live, it went up to 1700. So let's see, one, two, five arrests all day. Five, one, two, three, four, five, yeah, five arrests. Actually, surprised there hasn't been more. I, I don't know. The D.C. Metro Police kept the distance, which is very unusual. Uh, all right, I'm going to go offline now because everyone's calming down again, but this is what happened earlier. Everyone calmed down and shit went uh, that crazy again. Uh, so uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in and uh, being my eyes for me. Uh, so if something happens, I'll go back live again. Again, my live link goes out to Twitter every time I go live. That's Untold Carlisle, U-N-T-O-L-D-C-A-R-L-I-S-L-E. Uh, other than that, uh, stay safe, uh, stay out of freaking trouble, you know, certain kind of trouble. <laughs> Uh, and just have a good night, all right? Peace out, guys. There's some hope for this paper that this continues on and on and on. We have got to have, and I'm glad the Tea Party has made some inroads, but we have got to have people in the United States of America who stand up and fight for the Constitution, who fight for the America that was founded, who fight for the future for their children, their grandchildren, their great-grandchildren, we, we, in fact, it's fighting time, and anybody who can't see because, that uh, this city and like, this government like, is so busy uh, stealing his uh, food stamps and other things totally that might help him get off the street the, uh, to stay nourished. And, uh, that's, and uh, exactly there's another one right here. You have this dictator there's another one all of the people up here. The are to that dictator. I, I, I don't know if somehow this people in this country think, black people, or any other people, but black people were talking about So we're right here in the southeast area of St. Francis, here in Portland, Oregon, where the jackbooted bumblebees are hanging out, yeah, that's for sure. expecting something to happen. 
but they can never really get their heads out of their ass long enough to do anything right anyway. I love my commentaries. <laughs> and uh, right down there. They're hiding around the corner from us. Just on the other side of this guy with the bike. We have a rally that's going to be going on here at St. Francis Park. And all the cops see me walking up with my camera. Oops! Our position has been compromised. <laughs> I'd like to ask each and one of those police officers what it's like to sit next to their children in bed at night knowing full well that they're working uh, with the powers that are taking away their children's freedom and their future. And I'd like to know what, how it is they feel about that and uh, if they actually do feel as though the paycheck is worth that. It's a mere mere paycheck and they will compromise their own family's futures just so that they can have a paycheck. That's uh, what humanity has been reduced to. Compromise your humanity, compromise your compassion and your dignity to uh, harm others in the process of earning that paycheck and being paid for it. Okay, we're gonna we go back here to where the rally is taking place. So we're kind of debriefing as well. We're we're uh, some people are. Uh, Hey, Jose. Hey. I'm fucking dying here. I know, man. I'm hot.